in this video I want to show uh, how you can use an antenna tuner. Uh, the antenna tuner is directly connected to a shortwave radio. This is my home brew shortwave radio. And with such an antenna tuner you can say uh, lift up a certain part of the audio band in terms of receiving energy out of the antenna and uh, I made uh, two earlier videos about the long wire antenna that I use but with such a antenna tuner you can adapt in a certain way the length of the uh, antenna tuner not in a physical way of course it, you cannot make it longer or shorter but you can adapt it in terms of uh, electronics. So you can change the resonant frequency, the best frequency on which you, uh, where you want to receive a certain radio station. And this is the schematic of the antenna tuner. It's in my book Retro Radio. Pen over somewhat to give a good insight first insight and this is what I now will demonstrate. The tuning capacitor is here. Um, it is say a uh, two times five hundred picofarad tuning capacitor and perhaps it will not be easy to find uh, such a tuning capacitor today. It's more uh, out of the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, but anyway. It's very expensive when you want to buy it new, but you can say uh, salvage it out of an old radio. Anyway, perhaps on eBay or whatever. Here is the tuning coil. And you can see here that there are there these windings have a certain spacing and these also and here also but here there's no spacing and uh, that has everything to do with getting the Q, the quality factor of such an antenna tuner as high as possible. The most important thing to tell is that I made it on, with a, on a grey PVC tube but it's much better, and it was my uh, first setup, to make it on a cardboard roll that is well varnished, well lacquered, uh, to keep it free of moisture. And you can do that with, like I always told, glue for a rigid PVC use for sewage pipes. Anyway, that's the best way to make this um, coil, antenna coil. It has a higher Q quality factor compared to what I show now, but anyway this also works in a certain way good. So let's listen how we can say lift up uh, a, freak, a certain frequency band on shortwave with the help of that antenna tuner. I now receive a radio station and I, sorry to say, don't know where it comes from. Tune it to the most uh, best position that I can get has also uh, the, the quality of reception has also to do with the IF bandwidth, the high frequency amplification that I can lift it up. Perhaps it works better uh, and lifting up the high F amplification always means or could mean more distortion anyway. The most important thing is how this antenna tuner works 
to tune in on that specific radio station. Well, I will give that demo. So, here we tune it in. Here there are taps on that antenna coil. And uh, of course, when you change to other taps, you have uh, you have to find the first tab where it works at its best. So now the, at the moment the, the that radio station uh, weakens a little bit in the Netherlands. I think it's out of uh, South America or so. But here we can say tune it better. You can see the plates of the capacitor move and on a certain position the antenna is tuned to its best uh, position. And when I say best position it is tuned to its peak where it receives this radio station. So, not only uh, the VFO and the fine tuning of the VFO and the uh, uh, high frequency antenna amplification plays a role, but also the very, very good adaptation uh, of the radio receiver to the receiving antenna. So let me demonstrate that I, tu I tune out the VFO and the fine tuning of the VFO and then I will tune the high frequency uh, front end. The VFO. Fine tuning of the VFO. Of course the same effect, completely the same effect but anyway. High frequency amplification. That's a very, very strong effect. And now the antenna tuner. So this is the pure, short, old school, analog, uh, shortwave technology. Uh, let's try to pick up an other radio station in the same frequency band. I hope it will succeed, never a guarantees about that. This is the uh, earlier station. So, uh, perhaps when we set the, tu uh, the antenna tuner to on somewhat other band, it will work. And it doesn't work. And that's in a certain way logical. Anyway. So, uh, well, I hope it was a little bit convincing. Um, I couldn't receive today in the Netherlands more radio stations. But uh, surely, say, half an hour ago, one hour ago, I received approximately 10 radio stations in that same band. Has everything to do with the propagation. The properties of uh, short wave reception, etc., etc. But this was only about that uh, antenna tuner, to which you can tune the length of your antenna 
to the best value where your shortwave radio reception can receive. 